Hello everybody, so now I'm out here from Purple Basis Gaming. Uh, I'm in my old home, as you can see. I'm not in my, um, you know, my store home. I'm, I've just come outside, and uh, you know, I can't just hang around with Clash Royale on the outside. So basically, I thought I would do some uh, uh, stuff regarding uh, some science experiments, just for some, uh, just to be a bit geeky here. So let's start off with that. This experiment concerns surface tension, guys. Okay, surface tension is what it concerns. Uh, let's go. The ingredients you need is a beaker or anything which is flat edged. Uh, not it's like this. Look at this this edge is not. It's it's a protruding out like. Okay, it's like protruding out like boom. You don't want it to doing like that. But uh, I'm a bit wary of this. But that do, that does help. You need a bit coins. Uh, I think you know this experiment probably. Uh, most of you watched it. If you watched it, just give a thumbs up. If not watched it, just leave a comment. Do it and didn't watch it. Um, and you need a bit of water. Okay, you don't believe water is in there? Look at that. Water is in there. So, and you need a small cup if you want to. So, what I'm gonna do is just pure water. So, I'm gonna go take this cup and fill it back in into the beaker. And I'm gonna do that until this beaker is filled up to the brim. So, I'm gonna pause the video. Um, I'm gonna just pause the video and uh, I'm gonna show you. Uh, I'm gonna fill it, fill it up. Yeah. So I just fill it up. Look at this. It's a bit bulged. We want it to be feel like this. It's a bit bulged. Um, and it's it looks flat on its surface and it refracts everything you see. The center you see is not exactly in the center. It's a bit uh, towards the downside, as you can see. As I'm moving my camera, it's a bit shaky for me. I know. I uh, I think I'm a bit nervous here. Ah, oh, my finger! No, not coming like that. Okay, uh, I'm losing balance on my camera. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do? Uh, yeah, do the first tension. The water content in this beaker, no, in this beaker, does not break. And uh, I promise you that. Okay, it does not break. So what I'm gonna do is just carefully take it over to the side here. Uh, just do that. And then wrap. See? Water from nowhere spilled. And water is intact. As you can see, the bowl itself is intact. Um, and uh, the coin is inside of the beaker. I'm not fooling around. I'm going to show you later. I'm going to lift the cup and show you. Uh, or else I'm going to pour all the water out and show you that it's in the beaker. Um, and look at this. No water anywhere around here. So let's take a bit thicker coin. I'm gonna say uh, an, uh, an old fire bee coin. This is an old fire bee coin. So, oh shit, water spilled out. I need to fill more water in it because I just touched with my hand. It just irritated the surface. Uh, water is gonna spill out pretty quick. Okay, that's mo that's about it. Look at this. Look at the look at all the water that spilled out. Um, just after I put it. That's why I hate touching my finger into it. Where's the where's the finger? Yeah. Three, two, one. Drop. Okay, no water. Uh, this when I this water is from my when I put it. As you can see, the little reflections I put it in there, and it's still continuing to drop off uh, in the form of these droplets. I don't know why. Okay, um, we're gonna put uh, a little thinner in a medium-sized coin. I can't see properly. Can't perform this experiment properly here. There we go. It didn't spill, so I got a collection of all these coins. I'm gonna drop one one after the other. So here we go. Yeah, I, that was a bit rude on the water surface, but it's still maintaining the bolt. See, it's full up to the brim, or maybe not. Is it? Yeah, it is. Uh, it is full up to the brim. So I'm gonna go pretty slow on this. So I uh, no, almost submerge it half. Then yeah, just let it go. See, no water loss. Uh, you're seeing it, right? No water loss. Three, two, one. Oh, that had a bit of water loss. That's because surface tension is broken and it has got water loss and it's bold is broken because of too many coins in it. And I'm gonna go do this again with I got two more coins, so that's not, that's not gonna be a problem for us. Here. Look at that. Water spill from this side. Um what happens if I enter it slantly? Water spill from the other side or the opposite side, or it makes an angle like you enter it from this side, water spill from this side. 
uh, what if you enter it perfectly straight? Since this thing is spherical in nature, it should not enter perfectly straight. It should uh, be a sequential to the surface. Look now, look at that. It just spilled because I tilted my hand a little bit uh, when I was uh, putting it. But the first four coins that I put didn't spill less. Uh, no, it didn't spill it at all. Okay, and the craziest thing about it is you look at it from here. You won't find nothing. Uh, if you look at it from here, you can see the coins basically. Uh, if you have correct background here, uh, if you have a white background, then uh, in a transparent beaker that works pretty well, um, you can conceal the coins. Um, and that works as your many liquid piggy bank, of course. And if you look at from top of here, you can find, uh, you can find all the coins. That's because of refraction what happens here. So you stick out. I just gonna spill a bit of water. I'm not doing any more surface tension. You just stick it out and look from the top. You're sticking out somewhere. This thing is appearing somewhere where you don't want it to appear. So I'm touching the sides here, but you're still not touching the sides. So that's because of refraction. So we learned two th two topics today, and I'm happy about it. So thank you for watching. Please give it a thumbs up. Oh, sorry, thumbs up. Um, hope you liked the video. Thank you very much.